Here's a cool little sacroiliac joint routine and it also is a lumbar decompression routine. So we're going to first mobilize the sacroiliac joint on one side and then we're going to go to do in the sacral roll, decompress the lumbar spine. Of course, you would do this on the other side. We're going to demonstrate it on one side. I'm going to take Aaron's leg off the table like this and put his ankle between my thighs so that I have this force going through here so that I can decompress, decompress, decompress. Next, I'm going to take my dominant hand and come in and lean on the bottom part of the sacrum, which would be what? Coccyx, right? You're not going to push the coccyx, you're not going to hurt the coccyx with this broad palm, so don't worry about it. We're trying to think of getting this sacral base to flip up like that. All day long, forces are driving this leg up into the sacroiliac joint, jamping that sac sacroiliac joint, and now what are we doing? We're decompressing it, we're pulling that it, pulling it out of there, right? This is an unbelievable technique. Here we go. Right, dominant hand down first, non-dominant hand down second, and then you just jiggle it around with the decompressive force. Knowing how I'm pushing with one hand, or dr actually dropping my body weight in with my uh, right hand, and I'm resisting with my legs. So really put some force through here. Feels great, man, people love this. All the way along to the side, too. Okay. Let's go into the next one. Uh, lumbar decompression. So, lumbar decompression, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my dominant hand down on the sacrum. Nice, flat palm, soft palm. Taking my non-dominant forearm and just hooking the lumbodorsal or thoracolumbar lumbar fascia and getting a counter force. Notice the counter force. It can be on either side, it can be on either side, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to ask him to do slow pelvic tilts while I resist. Yep. When he comes right next, right down, right there, that's when I put my pressure. And now stop. And now I'm just going to rock him. Stop, come up, palm down on the SIS on the left here, PSIS on the left here, and start rocking on that. Now, I want you to stay on bone. I do not want you getting on glute medius, glute max, none of that stuff. We're going to be on the long dorsal sacroiliac ligaments, right on bone. People say don't work on bone, work on bone. A lot of sensory receptors in there, a lot of pain comes from uh, long dorsal sacroiliac ligaments getting strained and it can cause a lot of butt pain. Here we go, rock and rolling all the way down. Come on back, keep your elbows extended. You're just dropping your body weight. Notice how I'm stepping from foot to foot, just dropping my body weight, right? Now I would come all the way around, but for camera purposes, I'm not gonna go around to the other side. Rock all the way back around, and then just do this final thing. Pick the knee up at 90, and I want you to place your left hand on the lateral border of the sacroiliac joint and do this twisting motion here. This is powerful for one really important reason. There's a thing called a backward sacral torsion that we're not going to get into the explanation for it, but I found that there's a very easy way to identify and correct it naturally. And that is, if you get on this edge of the sacrum and it's sticking up, and it's painful when you push down, you probably got a torsion there. So here we go. I'm gonna, he doesn't have this, but I'm just gonna crank on this. One of the most misassessed things in low back, pelvic pain is a backward sacral torsion where they lean forward, bend to the left to pick a pencil up off of the floor and they come back up from that position and it jams L5 into the sacrum, pushes it back, jams it up and it flips up this base and that's what we're doing. Something that feels good that goes along with it, I get up here, 
Now, look at my fingers, they're pointed backward. I'm on that sacral base again, same thing. But now what am I gonna do? This way. Ooh, that feels good, Eric. Keep that up. Take these home and practice them, they're fun.